rich, flavorful, and comforting, these are three qualities that best describe this spaghetti a la carbonara. Here's how we do it. In a skillet, I'm going to saute some pancetta. First, I need to dice it. Uh, you can replace the pancetta with some bacon. When the pancetta is diced, I'm going to melt some butter in a saucepan. When the butter is hot, I'll start cooking the pancetta for about seven minutes until it's nice and crisp, stirring frequently so it doesn't burn. The pancetta is nice and crisp. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and also remove the excess fat. I've made sure I kept just a small quantity of fat in the pan for added flavor. Now I can deglaze with some white wine. Now the white wine is optional. You can definitely leave it out. I'm going to scrub just to get all the bits in the pan. Now that the wine is evaporated, I can turn the heat to low and cook the pasta. I have a pot with boiling water. I'm going to add a generous pinch of salt. Now for the spaghetti, I'm going to cook them in the boiling water according to the package direction. While the spaghettis are cooking, I can mix the rest of the ingredients for the sauce. I'm going to combine two eggs. With some cream. You can use 15 or 18% cream. Now to thicken the sauce, I need some cornstarch. And some Canadian Parmesan, I need about one cup. I think that's about a cup. I'm going to whisk the ingredients together. Add some fresh ground pepper. A pinch of salt. Now it's time to go drain the spaghettis. When the pasta is drained, I can add it to the pancetta. And I'll just stir so it's nicely coated with the pancetta flavor. Now I'll turn the heat to medium, add the cream mixture. And stirring constantly, I'll cook for about two to three minutes until the sauce thickens. The sauce has thickened. I'm removing from the heat and adding some chopped parsley for flavor and for color. I can't wait to try these. Now a little trick to serve the pasta, take some tongs and twist the pasta in the pan. Perfect. And at the last second, I can add some more Parmesan. Perfect. To me, this is a perfect dish that can be made so easily.